Okay, we'll go straight to questions. Uh, starting out with Zach and all that. Congratulations, Nick. Um, your weight class, especially there, have seemed to have been upsets all around. How have you kind of avoided that throughout the four sessions so far? Um, it's a really tough weight class. Every year, there's you know new guys coming in that are you know can challenge the top guys. So I think just sticking to my stuff, sticking the process, is what's helping me out. Let's go on the right side. Nick, uh, you know. Slower offensive pace tonight you know, for all these reasons, but what was the key here to that takedown? Um, I think just not letting go of the legs uh, and continue to fight for it. You know, it's something that we work on, so we're down. Good, Mike. Nick, we don't know how the rest of the night's going to go for your Penn State guys, but there's one thing consistent. You guys just don't seem to give up points. Is that the key to it? Is it, is it technique? What is it? Is it mindset? Well, I mean, if you give up less points than your opponent, you win the match, generally. So I think that's kind of where we're coming from. But for you guys, it's more than just words. You guys do it. How does that happen? Uh, technique, conditioning, you know, that kind of stuff, I think. Let's go, Mark. Nick, this being your last year, is this a little different? Does it feel a little different knowing this is your last time to go around here? Um, a little bit. Um, not too much different, but there's definitely that specter kind of in the back of my mind, I think, just trying to you know, have a little more fun, enjoy it, and um, you know, keeping things in perspective. What's the big picture, right? So I think those are the things I'm thinking about. Mike? Nick, if you do it again tomorrow night, does it make it more special because you did not have to be here this year? Um, I don't know. I think you know, there's a lot of guys that don't have to be here, but it's not a have to or not have to. It's a get to, right? There's 33 guys in each weight class that get to do this. It's a really incredible opportunity. And, um, you know, they focus in on like the heartbreak a lot, which I don't know if that's good marketing, but they focus in on it. Um, and that's, that's real, right? Because it is an awesome opportunity and it's a really cool thing to do. So I'm just grateful for it. Jack? What's it mean to go back to the national championship for the second year in a row? Um, it's really awesome, right? I feel like I'm just, you know, trying to be my best self. And if my best self is in the national championships, then that's where I want to be. So, back right. Nick, how much will you uh, spend time watching the rest of the guys in the final spin? Um, I'll watch them a little bit. I try to not if I'm feeling nervous. Um, I don't think it helps them or me. So um, sometimes I just try to find out results later. But um, I'll probably log on and see if I can watch tonight. Got to make way too, so there, there could be some work there to do. But right side. You're wrestling Clark. Went an overtime over Matthews. You know anything about him? Uh, no. I, I mean, he's in the finals of the national tournament, so he's an incredible wrestler. So I'm excited. It should be a fun match. Go on, Mark. No. Yeah, tell us a little bit about what it's been like being at Penn State for the last five years with Kells, your head coach, and the great assistant coaches he has and the bond you guys have. You guys are such a close family. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that, will you? Well, uh, I've actually been there for six years. Okay. I spent my senior year of high school there, you know, training. Uh, I competed very little, but uh, I was out there. And, you know, I would describe it. As a family, you know, I think a lot of teams would probably, you know, say the same, but I think anybody that comes into our room uh, from outside can tell you it's a very different vibe, a different atmosphere than most college rooms. Um, and I think that has a lot to do with our coaching staff. They're just incredible. Um, you know, I'm not going to name names because I'll forget somebody, but we just have an incredible staff all the way around. Um, they're the best in the world as far as I'm concerned. And um, them fostering that, and I think older guys, you know, helping the younger guys kind of understand where we're coming from uh, and why we do what we do is, is really important, so. Anything else for Nick? Are you in for an Olympic cycle? Um, we'll see. We'll see. I haven't even made that decision yet, so. Thanks for joining us. Best of luck tomorrow. Thanks. 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 Recording stopped. Thank